Hi, my name is Guy Fredrickson. Today is Sunday, June 27th, 2021. And this is another update on the restoration of my 1957 Martinac 24 foot cabin cruiser. So the last video I posted um, showed the completion of the transom work. And since then, I've been working on replacing the interior framing. I'll show you in a minute. So I recently made a trip to Salt Lake City to buy some lumber. And uh, these boards right here are African mahogany, an inch and a quarter thick. And this is what I'll use to replace the frames that go from side to side on the bottom of the boat. Over here, is white oak so this is a one inch by about a seven inch board so i had several of these and i cut them down into three inch wide strips and this is what i'll use for the bottom stringers that go along the bottom plywood from front to back and then here's some thicker inch and a quarter thick white oak and i'm going to use these for the additional chines I'm gonna install um, inside the hull. <clears throat> so here's the transom area that I showed you last time. So another thing to point out, right now the hull is resting on essentially three points. So I've got these four by fours underneath the transom on both sides and they're supported by these screw jacks. So these are two points of support. And then up front, the, uh, the bow area is resting on the keel on these two areas in here. So I hammered this in as a wedge to hold some weight here too. So essentially two points in the back and uh, essentially one point up front. The rest of the keel, um, there may be some weight on, there's two more support points on the rest of the keel. There might be a little bit of weight on there, but not too much. So that was necessary because, because all the interior framing has been taken out. So there were cross frames that went from side to side where you see each rib. And then there were bottom stringers. So there's two stringers still on the starboard side. I took one of them out. And on the port side, I took all three stringers out so this is where the one by three white oak is going to go to replace the stringers along the chines is where the one and a quarter inch white oak is going to go so i'm going to uh, add an additional chine member for about the first 12 feet uh, of the length bring it up into about this area uh, i may go further later on just not too sure at this point and the African mahogany is to replace the side-by-side -side framing. So that's still to go. So what I ran into, when I pulled up all the framing off the bottom plywood, and this is half-inch thick plywood, there's just hundreds of old holes left in the plywood from nails and screws and repairs. So uh, literally hundreds. So I've decided to lay um, some 17 ounce fiberglass cloth on the inside bottom. So I got, right now this, uh, this has all been cleaned up, sanded, and it has two coats of Smith's Clear Penetrating Epoxy Sealer applied to the plywood. So it's pretty much ready to lay the fiberglass down. 
So once I got the fiberglass installed, then I'll go on to the bottom and then use an epoxy filler to fill all those holes from the bottom. And then the, the filler will come up against the fiberglass that I put on the interior. So let me climb inside the hull here. So here you can see a little bit of a close up. So this is where two sheets of plywood joined. And uh, yeah, all the holes that are in that area. And then where the stringers were and where the frames were, just all sorts of old holes that need to be filled. I haven't seen any wood rot in the plywood or the framing. It's been sound that way. Problem is that all the original fasteners were steel and uh, they just all failed and corroded. And when they corroded, they took a little bit of the wood along with them, decayed the wood around the, the hole. So that's the plan. Should have the fiberglass delivered in the next couple of days. And that'll be the first order of business to get that fiberglass laid in this area. Then, once the fiberglass is in, I'll, I'll put the stringers in place, put the new chine board in place, and get this side done. And then I'll start on the starboard side. And then once all the bottom work is done, then I'll start on the framing that goes side to side. So that's it for now. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.